some glial cells, known as Schwann cells in the peripheral nervous system, and as oligodendrocytes in the central nervous system, wrap themselves around axons and create a lipid protein mix known as myelin. Now since lipids don't conduct electricity, this forces the action potential to jump to the sites where these Schwann cells or oligodendrocytes meet, known as the nodes. And so therefore, this is a type of conduction known as saltatory conduction is jumping from node to node as opposed to depolarizing each section of the axon. This speeds up the transmission of the electrical impulse. In general, there are two ways that a neuron may speed up the transmission of an action potential. Fatter axons transmit messages more quickly as do axons which are covered by glial cells known as Schwann cells or oligodendrocytes. If one were to compare the speed at which action potentials can be spread along an axon, the fastest messages travel along axons which are wide and which are coated with myelin. These are known as type A fibers and messages may be spread at speeds of 12 to 130 meters per second. That's equivalent to, uh, say, around 30 to 280 miles per hour. In unmyelinated axons, axons which are wider would transmit messages more rapidly than axons which are narrower. And the narrowest axons, which are unmyelinated, are known as type C fibers. They can spread action potentials at a rate of half a meter to two meters per second. That's about one to four miles per hour. Well, if fat myelinated axons transmit messages so much more quickly, why can't all axons be fat and myelinated? Two reasons. One, not all messages are urgent. So many messages can take an extra millisecond or half a second to reach their destination. Second, there simply isn't enough room in the body. If all of our axonal fibers were fat and myelinated, a spinal nerve would be about as thick as a garden hose, and the spinal cord would be about as thick as a garbage can.